height. This is before scene. This is how it started out. This will eventually become my new load bank for my genset there. So this is what it looks like before. And you're gonna see right now the final product it should be right there and after that I'll show you the steps and perhaps even some of the pricing of the parts Okay, so far, this is perhaps what we're looking at here. Almost finished. I mean, not almost finished. If shell getting there. All right, let's see what's in the box. Okay. Just came in from China. Okay, so where's the top part of the box? Okay. And this I knew which part was the top. Okay, and this must be the top one. Okay, so okay, let's open up now and see. Alright, this is the first time. In, in the box here. Yeah. Well, the pounds says uh, okay, 40 pounds. Wow! Wow! Ooh. Looky, looky. Yeah, let's take one of these bad boys. Got oh, good boy. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice, lucky, lucky. These are my capacitors. Oh, nice. 300 watt capacitors. No, sorry, resistors. This, these go in my load bank. Oh, these, these are called breaking resistors. Load bank resistors, whatever. It's what? 300 watts. That's one. This must be the five. It must be the five thousand. Oh, must be. Let's see what it says. Oh yes, it is. It's five thousand one. Okay, five 
2001. Okay, seems, everything seems to be intact. All right, yeah. a little bent here, but it could be straightened out. Small things. Okay, these are the, the these are the merchandise all displayed. It's supposed to be eight of them. So you can see this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the five thousand, the two thousand, the fifteen hundred, the three thousand. I better switch these two. This is the 1,500, 300, and the 300. Okay. These are going in my homemade um, load bank for that generator. So. This is what we're looking at here. All right. All right. Putting in the braces. No, the van is not on. That's the wind blowing in it. Okay, so I have to put these in here. All right, so just putting on the brace for the, the 1000 watt resistor. Then I have to figure out where I'm going to put the other three. Hmm. Five, five of them in. All right, I'm just trying to put in the the cooling system. I have to cut a hole at the bottom. Let me show you here. All right, I have to cut a little groove, and I'm gonna put these plastics on them. So I'm, my intention now is to run the fan blade and see if these move and check the airflow because upon Upon um, testing these, this 5,000 watt resistor got very hot. So I want to make sure I have sufficient airflow. So I'm testing out a new design given to me by the Holy Spirit to see if this piece of wood, this piece of wood right here, would make a difference to keep the airflow over this area because the fan only cooled the, cooled the top area but the front area um, got very hot. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So this is my um, test dyno tester. See how the air flows and one underneath to see if the air flows on the side. So we'll see what happens with that, okay?
All right, I'm putting in the connectors for the um, for the, the the connectors for the wires go in. So this is how it looks. I have to do it piece by piece, but here's what happened so far. I put these connectors on. These are the connectors for the load bank. These are marine connectors, capable of 100 amps, I mean 400 amps. I know I don't need all of that, so that's the one section, one side. Now I'm trying to do the other side on my genset box. Oh, I managed to put in the um, 100 amp breaker switch too. The controller over here. Ah, I wouldn't say this, this, the controller, I would say display, digital display. And up in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the current, trans, current transformer that will detect the load coming out of the genset. Okay, so that's where I'm at today. By the way, this is the schematic I drew for this, okay? All right, this is the wiring you know, for the load bank. So, typical, just basic current transform up there and 120 volts in and on the primary. And the main secondary coming from the generator will be 240. So. All right, just put in the um, female connectors. Now uh, this middle one here, that have to be changed. So I just put in a temporary. Started to insulate the inside. So this is how it looks now getting there. Took out all of the resistors. There they are. Uh, okay, this is the outside. Okay. I finished the cord yesterday. But the little little junky but let's see what I can do try to get those back in place sorted them out all right uh, this is what I've got so far okay those are the resistors in the back there to put the blade on but it's a hundred arm switch the LC display panels and the switches on I'm gonna label those right now All right, that's the best I can do Hello YouTubers again. This is perhaps day 12 of experimenting, not consistently, but I had a different change of plan. So I'm going with this method to heat that resistor because under normal circumstances that resistor would get pretty hot. So I opted to put these two fans here with a plate over which is um let me see all right 
foot. Oh, yes. I'm, right now, I intend on putting this plate here. I say plate, but it's a wooden shield to encase the, all of the airflow into this little box I had to add this on. Yeah, so this is what we're looking at. So I'm going to use two, fan, um, two sets of fan. This fan from an old air conditioning unit split that pulls the air out um, at least sucks sucks the air out and these two will suck the air in so that's what I'm looking at so far Yes. 